The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, Tuesday, the 26th of November. We're looking at the Dow down 259 at 44,478. I'm calling this a leg B, maybe a PB if there's no new high today. It could be an alternate count, but everything about it is suggesting that there should be slightly higher highs to come. Okay, that's that. So we've got um, all-time high yesterday, sharp pullback today, up down 20, uh, 263. Well, we've had a couple of days of up 400s. We've got the S&P, and this is going to be very interesting, a little divergence there. Whoops, let me just I had a click here. Um, let me go back. Yeah, we have the S&P right there, uh, up 11 at 5998.66. Now, what's really interesting is that the high yesterday of 6020.75, I have this as leg B as well. <laughs> so with that said, what we're looking at at this particular stage is the QQQ up 227 at 508.86, uh, bumping into some resistance, but Underneath the all-time high of 514.66, it's at 508.88. Let's go to the IWM, and that's been the stellar performer up until now, down 206 at 240.34. I have this as a leg E. I don't want to get into that just right at the moment. A little later on, we'll get into that. Most importantly, what I want you to look at is what if exactly um, are we looking at in terms of the rotation through the different sectors and the iShares Russell 2000 has been showing superior performance lately. Okay, that's important because you want the uh, you you want to know when there's some weakness, what's going to take the place. Well, very often the uh, IWM, the Russell 2000, pulls back quite sharply and then goes on its way to make a, um, higher highs. And yesterday it went to 244.98. That turns out to be what? An all-time high. 244.46 was the high back in November of 2021. It cascaded down to 161 uh, in October of 2023. And here it is. Uh, making an all-time high, another leg D. The last leg D became a peak D, and that was that terribly sharp uh, monthly pullback from November of 2021. That's three years ago exactly. And now what are we looking at? What are we looking at here is, let me just get out of this. All right, thank you. Uh, what we are looking at is within the context of rotation. So let me just see the IWN, which is the, oops, oh, I don't know what's going on here. No, no. Oh, man. Um, if you don't mind, I need to just uh, cancel something here. Okay, that's fine. Um, so what we're looking at is the IWN. IWN is the value. So IWN is the iShares Russell 2000 value ETF, made a leg E, maybe a peak E yesterday. And the question comes in, wait a minute. That means it's also made a leg D in the weekly charts. In many, in many ways, it's fulfilled uh, the obligation of going from a buy signal to a buy mode, going to at least a D. So I was asked the question about, is this really just a brand new A or is this uh, an E in the um, daily chart of the IWM and the IWN? And my answer is, all I can say is, we are in a rather overbought area altogether in all the different indices. And we, we'll see that as we move along. Uh, look at the XLK. The XLK, just don't type it there, type it here. Gosh, I just got out of something which would have been very lucrative, but I was a lot of things going on. So I just had to clear the decks there. Uh, XLK has gone to a peak E and it went there early in November and it hasn't gone back to the 230 right here. Look, this high that was made with Doji Can 237, um, 237.94, and 
and you get about 234, 41, not a big deal, still, technicals are still strong, but it's just saying to me, we're getting rather stretched, and to kind of conform with what I'm looking at, let's continue and go to the gold. Gold had a huge pullback yesterday, and today it's up five at 26.47, still in the lower range. Still doesn't look terrible, but it's just not performing very well. Silver, right, so gold is at 26, uh, 26.47, silver is at 30.83, up uh, 17 cents nearly uh, testing the 200 period moving average of 30.13. Look at the um, high-grade copper. High-grade copper is still very weak down at the 4.13 area, uh, down point uh, oh two today. It's just not performing well. It's like glued to the 200 period moving average of the weekly chart. Let's go on to um, crude oil. Crude oil at this particular point is up 48 cents at 69.43, way under the 71.68 200 period exponential moving average again. Let's go to um, bonds and the bonds. This is going to be important. Bonds are down over 17.30 seconds at 117.30 seconds. So you can see this trend line. Look, this did has almost done a perfect one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. It, the, the level to watch is 114 and 25, 30 seconds. We can call it the whole 414 area. It's really important. Now, I said the action yesterday was really strong, but what you really need to see within two sessions, you cannot wait too long. It has to be within two sessions, a push above this candle right here of, a, of the 6th of November, 118, 27, 30 seconds. It's probably easier to go to the TLT. TLT needs to close, not just push above, but close above the candle of the 5th of November of 92.90 and it's trading in 92.14 down 60 cents right now. It is a leg B and that is important and you are seeing a slow move to the upside. Oh, I shouldn't say slow. That was a quick move yesterday to the upside. Now, what's even more important and this is going to be the test is can the TLT going into mid-December, no, mid so now we're into the last month, the last few weeks of the year, can there be a move that says in early January, yields will go down. Well, to do that, you've got to really start a leg C in the monthly chart, which means you've got to get over 101.64 uh, in the monthly chart. All right, I think we've done all of those. Uh, dollar, dollar right now is... At this point, it's starting to pull back a, fr a fraction, two ticks at 106.89, had a nice move up to 107.50, but it's kind of stalling in the upper range. I think there's one more pop to 100 and 108.08 to start leg D, and then I think we get a real test. Can the dollar weekly chart, which has been spectacular, going from 100 to 108 in one single move to the upside, can it avoid pulling back here to make that single leg A where you've got to say, oops, now what happens? And that makes the 106 to 105 area all the way into January. Really important. Okay, I've got all those out the way. Uh, Jimmy says, strong dollar, America first, use America's strength as negotiation, leverage versus other nations, people bank, and shake down targets. So we went long, 2008, went long with dollar at 90 through the UUP dollar pool uh, fund, uh, because that's exactly my thinking, that the United States is the top economy in the world, and it should be represented by a strong dollar. I, I might be wrong, but so far it's been right. I'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the open and call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Yeah, so uh, Rochelle in the uh, Tiger YouTube says ERJ all time high. Absolutely. This is uh, Embraer SA, Portuguese pronunciation. Embraer. Embraer is a Brazilian multinational aerospace corporation. It develops and manufactures aircraft and aviation systems and provides leasing equipment and technical support services. Third largest producer of civil aircraft worldwide after Boeing and Airbus. Wow, I always wondered who would be the other one. I didn't even know that there was another one, but I always wondered if there was some other competition. E M B R A E R. Okay, very good. Trading at uh, 39.95 up dollar uh, dollar five. Peak A, peak B, C, D, E. Uh, question about this: Is this F or slash F slash B? Yeah, very strong. Um, wow, A, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E. Oh, this is amazing. But it looks like it's getting a little overbought. But it's I've been absolutely fantastic. Walk in the line period, moving average in the daily, weekly, monthly um, at, I wouldn't say all-time highs until I open this up and see the history. Oh, no. Well, oh, it's almost te double tops. Unbelievable. Look at this. Back in, back in, there's a monthly chart, July of 2014, it goes to 40.37. Has a slightly lower high the next month in August and September it goes to 40.52 that's uh, what is that 17 uh, 16, 15 yeah about 15 cents higher and look where we are right now we're at 30 no not 39 but 40 around them whoop, 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 whoop. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The high today is 
How about that? It took, what did I say it was? 2016 or something? Unbelievable. Eight years, and we're back. And in the interim, it's been down to four or three dollars. Uh, three ninety six, three forty, uh, three ninety nine, three ninety six, double bottom in two thousand and twenty. Unbelievable, man! I love the market, just so fascinating. So that's E R J, and I'll put that down here just as a note because I was looking. Um, let me, let me just do this right now since it's current. BA, Boeing Airlines, a down 2.24 at 150.87. Had a nice pop from the low that was made just the other day in the 136. Uh, it was 137.03. Peak A, peak B, trading right now at 150. That monthly charge goes E slash C. Now it's gone to a D, right? And, ah, not so good. So all I can say is that somebody has to take up the slack, and Embraer, Embraer is uh, t doing just that. All right, good. Now, a couple of things. What is this chart? Have a look at it. Made a peak E, doji candle, the other day at 100.170. Mm, it was 170. Yep, 170. Right now, it's trading at, <clears throat> if I say the number, you'll know exactly what I'm looking at, 92,630, so it went to 100,170. 100, I've got this as a leg C in the weekly chart, but I'm going to go with the GBTC and some others to say it's most likely a D in the weekly chart. That's the Bitcoin Investment Trust. If you go to the one that we have here, IBIT, uh, which was the handle part of the cup and handle, it made an all-time high just the other day in the 5680 area. It's trading right now at 50, oh, what? 52.59, down a dollar 44. This is iShares Bitcoin ETF. So when I talk about rotation, I'm saying I'm watching a number of things very closely. So we've got that. We've got the gold down from the most recent high in the 2740s at 2650, right? We are still long, but we've tightened that the stop on our position in gold. Um, and what are we looking at? Because we were in before the big move up. And what are we looking at? We're looking at the GDX underperforming. It's at 37.08 down six cents. And let me put this together as I did for subscribers before. I have no idea if this is going to continue that relationship. Robinhood down 69 cents at 37.16. Made uh, not an all-time high. That was an 85 round number. August of 2021 slumps down to 6.81 June of 2022. And it had this rally to um, 39.74. So let me just change this because I'd like to notate it. 39. Mm -hmm. 39.74. So I'm watching this closely because I suspect that when Robin Hood finally has a pretty decent pullback, maybe it's starting to get a little toppy right now, but all the signs here are technically fabulous. The on bounce volume is a little overbought. And I've got this only as legs C, and I've gone through this a number of times. I really feel strongly I've got to stick with this as leg C in the weekly chart. It should pull back and then go to a leg D, and then we've got to be careful. So it's a work in progress. And I'm looking at this and I'm saying the Robin Hooders are in the goals, they're in the Bitcoins. This, they keep rotating through the different sectors. Gold is pulled back sharply. When Bitcoin at some point, and it will, has a big pullback, I'm watching Robin Hood because that's going to give me clues as to the first two, three months of 2025, I've already discussed I, I, when I did my webinar with subscribers, I was discussing the rotation, how you go through all these different sectors and one one at a time, they start to either make new recovery highs or highs, uh, multi-year highs. And when they start to stall, something has to take their place. And at this point, we're getting to the stage where we're kind of running out. Look, you've got Microsoft stuck. Nice move up today, up five at 424, um, round number right now. Uh, but if you look at the weekly chart sideways, it looks very much like the SMHs, semiconductors. But in that case, 
um, there's a slight difference because um, they Microsoft is just one unit, but the SMH, the components, you have, what, 20 or more different uh, stocks. If you look at NVIDIA, took a bit of a breather uh, yesterday. Uh, it was 152.89, all-time high, four sessions ago, and it's taking a bit of a breather. Three red candles, even with the all-time high, but it's not failing. It's still holding really well. I keep getting this uh, email saying uh, Nvidia, Nvidia, Nvidia. Yeah, uh, yeah. you got to treat these things as separate. Separate. Oh, are you going to tell all the people that had Nvidia who made fortunes? Oh my God, the PE is nine hundred and fifty. Whatever. It's got nothing to do with you. Buy stocks for individual reasons, for individual characteristics. And if you're comparing it to a GE, they both did fantastically. Are you going to say to someone, give back the money because you were the wrong, the wrong stock? GE is only a P of whatever, so it is down a single digits or something, or maybe low, low a double digits. And no, each one's separate and they both struggle. Uh, that is the SMHs, comparing it with, the, or not in video per se, comparing it to GE. Different characteristics. I'll be back in a moment. Dow is down 298. I'll be back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. 
They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Yeah, so let me just, I've done this, I don't know how many times over the years, but I'll do it again because I think it's really important. People buy stocks for different reasons. The idea should be in the stock market that you're there to make money. I mean, why else would you be there, uh, right? So people have different ways of looking. They look, some people are very conservative, some people are very aggressive, and some people are quite capable of having a mix of the two. So if you're looking at a technical, I'm, I'm a technician, so if you're looking at the technicals, you look at the chart, the chart is positive, it doesn't matter whether the uh, PE is X or five times X or three times X, it just doesn't matter because you're looking at the chart and you're saying, I anticipate that on a technical level, such and such is strong and therefore should move up or it's weak and it's a move down, that's all. So I'm saying that a majority of the time, people who do buy, say, a GE, will be a lot more, in the old days, they wouldn't be conservative, they'd be just plain or wrong. But for a long time now, two, three years, um, you've been correct. And that's really important to know what you're doing. In that, in that case, you're looking both at the technicals and concurring with the, uh, the new CEO who came in and he's done a fantastic job. And that's really important. So the PE... Yep, it's important, which is also the characteristic of the, the new um, uh, metamorphosis of the company. If you're looking at uh, NVIDIA, you're looking at something completely different. But if you're looking at the chart, you're just looking at the chart. Just wanted to clarify, people have different reasons, and it doesn't make any stock better than the other. <laughs> Why? I mean, in fact, the one with the craziest PE did better in terms of profits. So I'm just trying to set that straight, just to try to get a, a sense of um, perspective. Okay, so now let me get back to the story because what I wanted to show you was um, in the, 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 really it's called the Mag 7s. So that's Amazon. Very nice move up today. It's up for almost five points at two or six point thirty, but it did make a peak G, and that's the only way I can count that. A G at two sixteen, I think it was two, just under two sixteen, two fifteen point ninety on the fourteenth. It pulled back pretty sharply to the one ninety fives, and now it's at two oh six. This cup formation is the one that you want monitor very closely because if it fails, it makes that dreaded H pattern. So over the but. I've got a peak C, no other way I can count that in the weekly, and it should go to a higher high into the 216, 217 area. That'll start leg D, all right? And it's in a D already in the uh, monthly chart. Good looking chart, that's all I can say. Apple, Apple has made an extended move from the peak E in Chapman, that's the fifth highest peak, at 237.49, uh, back in mid-October, then it plummets down to the 220 level, just under, and now it's trading at 234, a nice move up. I could draw, it. I'll, I'll do that because this is a technical show and we'll do this. Look at that, joining those lines. There you are, you've got the Chavamay Falling X breakout pattern, and that just says the next level on the left side has already been taken out today, and that's the level of the 28th of October, of 234.73, that leaves you the high of the 21st of October of 236.85 and then the 237.49, all-time high. 237.49, yes, that's a higher high. Remember, we're talking about double tops. Look at this double top, 237.23, back in July, pulls back to 196, round number low, goes back where? To 237.49, I mean, really. 26 cents, 27 cents from a new high, and leg D in the so that's Apple acting very well. And we'll go to Netflix. Netflix uh, went to a leg D the other day, and then made a peak D with the Chan Wave side and Doji the next day. And this is why I'm saying I think we're getting a little toppy here. And I'm anticipating somehow or other we, we managed to squeak to new highs. Wow, it's a lot. 
you're gonna have to, you're down three or two in the Dow. That means you're gonna have to get um, move about another 400 or so points. It's gonna be tough. I I think we this is the time we I've been suggesting we've been doing this just whittling away little tads off our, our positions that have done fabulously, and I, I don't mind. You can go to your highs without us adding at this point because this is the phase where I'm thinking getting a little toppy, that's all. So Netflix made a high. I'm also looking for round numbers. I haven't seen many. I'll be looking for that over the next week or so. Um, so Netflix goes to 908. I'll be looking for those in the next few days because, look, at peak D, well, it wasn't peak D until the following session, Netflix makes a round number all-time high. Now, I've studied round numbers since I did hand charting and going back in the books of the Dow from 1920. And uh, believe me, I've, I've done a whole lot of work on round numbers. To see a round, you remember those round numbers we were seeing in April with all the semiconductors and uh, MSTR and all the, those, those stocks? And remember how they tanked after that? So this is something that I don't take lightly. So Netflix is starting the whole thing. There were one or two others, but it has to be the important stock. So we've got 908, all-time high in Netflix. It can take it out. If it takes it out, then you look for the next number on the upside. But it just it's like a it's like just a heads up. Watch this yellow light. Okay. What else am I looking at? Did that Apple? I did Microsoft. And uh, oh, just before I forget, IYT. So the, we had this Dow confirmation theory, et cetera, um, yesterday when the IYT went to 75. It's down today, 87 cents at 74.51. This is the iShares Transportation Average ETF. A lot of syllables there. 75.59 was the all-time high yesterday. 75.49, in leg E. So, yeah. And it's leg E in the weekly chart and leg E in the monthly chart. Cup and beautiful handle. The cup and handle pattern always says to me, be careful because at some point the handle um, might break to all, to a new high, but the lip on the left side, in this case it will be the lip of 71.16 back in March, will get tested and usually you go back into the body. So all I'm saying is I love what's going on. We have no shorts. Well, our positions have done really well, really well. Some are up over 100%. Not the point. The point is that we're getting a little bit scruffy. All right. JDX Green. Yep. Nice. Uh, next question we've got. Oh, and Rochelle says, I still have Netflix. I <laughs> know. If there's anything going to all time highs, Rochelle, always look at, the, at YouTube to see whether or not Rochelle says, oh, yeah, I've got that. So, Netflix, congratulations. Um, an amazing company. All of us remember when it was just that little store down the road where you, you uh, had to rent the CDs. Well, no, no, it wasn't. It was the, the video box. Yeah. Wow. What a, what a chance. Up back. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year.
an amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, we're back. So this is just so fascinating. Look, the Dow is down very sharply, down 264. I haven't quite got uh, exactly which uh, Dow stocks. Amazon's up nicely. NVIDIA's up. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, that's right. NVIDIA's in the Dow now. All right, well, we've got some stocks that must be... Uh, yeah, Home Depot's down. Yeah, we've got a couple that are down. And uh, Goldman Sachs is down quite sharply. That's a whole brokerage area. I'm watching that one carefully. So within the uh, context of the fight, we've got this rotation. Look at this. The E-mini is up 17. It just refuses to go down. Look, 9B moving average in the 5-minute chart. Pink just about to turn green. The... Uh, 10-minute chart is, in fact, turning, got to wait for the whole 10-minute bar to complete, but it has flipped back to green. And that's just rotational buying. That's why I'm saying we're starting to get the characteristics where it's kind of toppy, but it's also rotational. And when it's rotation, it means some, some stocks take over from the others. And that really is the most, that's the characteristic since 2009. Summer of 2009, that's how most of the digestive phases have been. All right, so let's get back to our story. And a couple of questions have come in. And the question is volatility index, the VIX. Right here. The VIX index is down 48 cents at 14.12. Remember, we spoke about this last couple of days. I said if this nine period moving average, the pink nine period moving average, deflects under the black 14 period moving average, be careful because you could get a test of the low that was made on the left side, that dreaded H pattern, which makes the 13.59 level very important. Now, what's fascinating, it happened once before. I think it was like 20, 2005, somewhere, somewhere in the early 2000s, where the volatility index actually did some Chapman Wave peak Ds. But other than that, I consider it an unfaithful presenter of the Chapman Wave methodology because it's an emotional thing and emotion goes quickly to the dark side. It's always sitting there skeptical, but it goes quickly to the dark side and then it can just alleviate in, a, in moments when the price of the, of the market just starts to push back up again. Everyone says, okay, whew. and that's what you see. But it's fascinating that it actually did. For the last, since October, it went to a peak D in the 23s, and then pulled back sharply to 18, and then ran back up with a double top. So we got one, one high that was at 
2314, and then another high that was just uh, two, three weeks later, October the 31st at 2342. And look, we capped down and we didn't even fill the gap and now we're pulling back. And that's just saying to me that the buyers of uh, insurance going into the election are now saying, okay, we've got some we've got settled let's call it settled science because we've got a winner we have a new a presidential elect and that says volatility index has to go through its own churning and all i can say is that if the volatility in the next week or two suddenly starts to trade at 19 to 20 with the dow down about 500 points and the s p down oh i'd say 63 at least and closes that way, then I think we've got to start to look at lower lows. But until then, these are sporadic moves that the bias has been to be holding long and to be buying. Okay, so let me just do this uh, for a second here. Just wanted to check the time. So I mentioned Goldman Sachs. So Goldman Sachs has gone to this kind of double topish range uh, back on the 10th or 9th of November 11th. It went to uh, five, no, it went to 607.15, and yesterday it went to 611.30, and now it's at uh, 597. So just to be conservative, because the technicals are still pretty good, I call this an F, and I, I keep my, my wand in hand ready to say, it could be an alternate count. I don't have to do that. Just treat it as an F for now, and it's a D in the weekly chart. And that there again, it's saying we're kind of getting a little bit overbought, not a little bit, quite quite a bit overbought in Goldman Sachs. But I consider Goldman Sachs really to be back again as a leader. It used to always be. I did a webinar once where I discussed it from the nineteen twenty from the nineteen twenty nine period where it went public. And all these subsidiaries it had, it was a force in those days, and it, it remained a force, and it's always been a force. But then there was that period where they did all this stuff. They, there was a um, there was a period where they had, I think it was that they didn't have a single losing day for almost a year, something crazy like that. Um, and then all of a sudden they were found to have done something mm, that wasn't quite kosher, and um, they had a big problem. Now they're back again. So I suspect when this market finally makes a pretty decent top, Goldman will be there, and I'm watching it closely. So let's just do some quick work here. No round number there. No round number there. I don't think I saw a round number at all. No, yep, five, 593 low today. Oh, the days, yeah. Well, it's got a 593 low, and it's trading at 597.58. If it closes in the next... Uh, week without making a new recovery high above 611.30, uh, but in fact closes under 5.58. I'm going to say 5.84, and that says just on a very short-term basis, be careful because Goldman Sachs will be pulling back a little bit more. All right, so that takes me to the IAI, which is the um, gold, the iShares Broker Deal Eat and Security ETF. Uh, we are long from, I should just mention, we are long from right there, uh, March of 2020. The low was 42.54. Uh, the next day we got long at 45. And I've kept that long position, but then we added, we've added periodically, we've gone in and out of a trade, but we've also added to that position through Robinhood at 16, and Robinhood is now uh, 37. So, um, what we're looking at in the IAI, I've got this as a peak C. There's no question about the notation here. It should go to a D above 153.73. Uh, and then I'm, not, I'm just going to say, okay, that's where the countdown starts for a potential, some kind of a pullback in the market. Okay, now I've done those, I've done that, I've done that. Um, okay, AIQ. AIQ. So the AIQ is the uh, Global X Artificial Intelligence ETF leg D in the monthly chart, very strong. Leg D, little doji candle. Well, the week has just barely begun. Uh, doji candle in the weekly chart. And an alternate count that I've called B. I've called it B because, look, 
You see that huge move from the low that you made in the 36s back in the beginning of November. And then it's, it went single leg up to 39.16, pulls back to 37.40-ish, and then pops up yesterday to a new recovery high, which turns out to be an all-time high. So stocks and indexes that make all-time highs on the all-time high just tend to stay there for a while until the, there's a real big market change. But I'm calling this B for now, and that just says, hmm, maybe into the beginning of December, we make uh, higher highs. And then maybe we start to churn a little bit, and maybe January we have a full day. We'll see. I'll be back in a moment. Dow is down 254, SB sub 30. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry October 11th and 25th for more live trading action. Your purchase goes towards two sessions, so make sure to sign up now so you don't miss a chance to sit next to Larry as he trades the market live. For all information and reserve your spot today, go to the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. Uh, so uh, this is very interesting. So there's a stock that I've uh, written down here, Poseida Therapeutics. Um, I had it as one of the streamers that keeps popping up on one of my streamers, and one of them today is actually Eastman Kodak. But look at this. I've notated it. I had a peak A and then a pullback, a big percentage. I mean, it goes to 371, then plummets down to the, what was that, th uh, two, two, 203 area. And um, I've got it all notated, waiting for a, P, a leg D in the monthly chart, and suddenly it pops up again. And what is it trading at? $9.36, up 6.50, up 227%. You never know with these things, right? So what do you buy? A whole bunch and they just sit there, but wow, 227%. And look at this Eastman Kodak. 
KODK. Some of you don't even remember that, I'm sure. KODK, Eastman Kodak, um, trading right now up uh, 34 cents at 6.59. It showed up yesterday, and I had I thought Eastman Kodak. Wow, look at that. So um, it was trading at I think at the time it was trading at 6.35. So today it's trading at. Uh, Opens at 6.35, trading 6.59. They come back from the dead, these things. Huh? Okay, Eastman Kodak. Um, every once in a while it shows up, and this, this was another one. Would I have gone, would I have said to subscribers, let's get into this because it closed. I would have waited for a little bit of a pullback. We might have got it. So it's still there because there's only a leg B in the daily chart. So I'm watching, there are a lot of stocks. I'm thinking now that we've got our core positions and we've taken a little bits off, even the KRE, the regional bank, we've taken a little bit off. It just got to take percentages when you can um, and keep your core, big core position. Um, I'm looking and I'm saying, if you can have a little fun over the next week or two or three, and maybe some of these are going to show off the subscribers, these single digit stocks, and we'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens. I'll be back with uh, Jacob a little later on. Have a great day. Uh, stay tuned for Steve. Hopefully he's feeling well enough to do his show and uh, check him out before they use that.